to go ahead and break it down. I'm going to go ahead and break it down a little bit here for us, Dylan, just to go ahead and kind of see the, the, the perspective behind the scenes on these products. So uh, I want to go ahead and break this product down real quick. So first and foremost, one of the things that I see here, right, is the fact that this, you know, is a bit more of a modern, um, it's a bit more of a modern utensil draw, right? More modern, right? Uh, it's easily clean, cleans cleansing, cleansable. Mm -hmm. You could put different items in it, which is really cool. The, the thing is with me, right? The thing is with me, I don't see too much of like a high perceived value on this specific product right here. Okay. Um, this specific one, there are items that are similar to it in the marketplace. Uh, oh, yeah. And yes, this one does have the differentiation. So your mind's in the right place. You're, you're thinking, you're thinking very critically, uh, which is exactly how you want to think, right? Uh, the only thing is there's the other items that are the basic ones that don't have that slight differentiation that this one has still wow. isn't that different than this one, right? So this one does share those characteristics with the same ones you can find in Walmart, mm -hmm. uh, Ikea, across the globe, right? And it's just something that's a bit too general. But what I do want to go ahead and let you know that I love that your head is in this market, okay? And people are very, very passionate and logical about this market. So what I want you to do is I want you to look in this market for items that, you know, are a bit more differentiative, right? And serve a purpose in the actual cooking of the meal a bit more, because that's where you're going to actually see more of the, um, you know, quick demand. Because in this marketplace, think about it, people have this already, right? They have this at their house, they have it already, right? Mm -hmm. And most people are hitting with the ad are going to own that, right? Uh, mm -hmm. If I did a survey here, I'd say maybe probably 90% of us have one of these in our drawers right now, okay. right? What we want to do here is promote something that maybe 90% of us don't have to go ahead and make our tomato puree that much better, right? Something like that. So your head's in the right spot and you're thinking very critically, which is exactly what you want to do. I see the differentiation. I see how you're thinking. It's okay. just, I, I've seen these in the marketplace for quite some time now. And I would say, let's definitely do ourselves a favor. You're eating, your head's in the right spot, but let's put this to the side and focus on something in the same marketplace with a bit more differentiation that focuses on playing a part more in the actual meal creation rather than um, the utensils. Does that make sense? Okay. So this item here, we definitely love. And I definitely love where your head's at as well with this. But let's go ahead and talk about what changed in the marketplace. And if anyone uh, knows down below, comment down below as well. I want to see your guys' opinion or if you know what changed in the marketplace. I just, saw, um, I just saw Jeff Joseph say it, yep. Right. But... But, okay, just like with Dylan's product, that doesn't mean that we're shit out of luck here with this item because your head's in the right place, okay? When your head's in the right place, we could go ahead and make magic. So let's go ahead and right. talk about it. Okay. There's products that house the Apple AirTag, okay, for pets, different types of pets, styles of dogs. I would highly recommend looking into dog Apple Air, Air collars, Air Tag collars, okay, because that's where the market's shifting. Okay, quick question on that, if you don't mind. I don't mean to interrupt, but quick question yeah, on that. Yeah, Doesn't yeah. that limit my market by only people who own Apple products? Yes, it does, but that market is big enough to where it is an umbrella and it is something that we could get, we could make consistency off of. Okay, okay. If it was, if it was, let's say, does it only limit me to um, South Florida real estate? Then I would say, hell no. But right. since it's Apple AirTags all over the world, I would say absolutely that's 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 plausible. Now, with that being said, we're not selling the actual AirTag because that obviously is what Apple owns. We're not selling right. knockoff AirTags, although I know a crap load of people who sold a killing off of the AirPods when they first came out. We're going to be I'm going to advise you to look into the market of looking at the the AirTag housing. Okay, because the AirTag housing, think about it like this. All you got to have is AirTags or you got to just convince them that air tags are the solution. Okay. Now the whole thing is you want to have two different campaigns when you start marketing these people, well, when you start to prove that the concept, it's already proven. Hint, hint. Quick question though on that, because I know very little about air tags. So this is explain to me how air tags work, because is it something that you can literally go geographically, no matter where they're at in the world? So let's say you have your dog collar and he has the air tag here, right? He could go like literally any, like he could run away 10 miles away and on your phone, you know exactly where he is more accurate than anything else in the market. Okay. All right. It is the best solution for tracking, especially animals at this point. 
So you want to go ahead and change your mindset from looking at the actual device to looking at the actual uh, housing of the device. And then what you're selling here is you're selling fear, you're selling the device, and you're selling the fact that having this having the air tag in this contraption is going to be way more or way more accurate than anything else you can get right so essentially you're selling the use and creative idea of the create of the air tag and, and the, the fear of loss of the item of the, of the person or a dog or whatever you know the fear of the loss of that exactly and that's why i would advise against this it's just because this is too expensive for this I would just sell the, the actual collar and then tell them like, look, it doesn't come with the obvious air tag. Right. And then you, know, you, you want to look for something in, in that market. That's a bit more inexpensive. So you would be selling the actual housing of the product here, as well as, as the fear and the story of what could go wrong. If you don't have okay. a proper actual tagging uh, infrastructure around the dog's neck. And, uh, but you're, like I said, your head's in the right place. This is, these are the right, these are the right places to sell. These are the right angles. People want uh, something like this. We just want to go ahead and rethink what we're selling. We're selling the, the fear of, of, of what could happen, right? And the creativity of what the air tag does and the contraption to go ahead and house the air tag. So I love it. 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 This market is hot as hell. Okay. And quite frankly, it, it makes sense to me because I'm seeing outdoor experience products go ahead and go bonkers. Why wouldn't other experience products also go bonkers? This is an experience product. This is mom to daughter, mom to son experience at its finest. This is teaching. This is emotional. This is logical. It makes sense. This is needed. It's a must. Okay. This is embryonic. This is growth. This is everything that is inside of a potential of a potential winning product in this space. Now, again, this is not the only product that is doing well in Montessori. This market is so freaking big and hot. Okay, hint, hint, hot market alert. Okay, and also Niles, great research here. Definitely a phenomenal movement forward. Okay, uh, for obvious reasons, everything you literally just said it hit, it literally hit every single point of the product index criteria. Okay. Um, which is epic. Okay. So this is literally an ideal item as we can see. Okay. It's good to go ahead and have the child learn motor skills. It's good to have the child actually learn what things feel like. It's good to have the child actually go ahead and learn problem solving skills. It's good to have the actual child go ahead and learn specific movement throughout the life of like Velcro and zipper. Okay. This is, if I've ever seen it, one of, it is an ideal product. Okay. And this is the type of item that you brand like overnight when you start to find consistency, right? This is, and the thing is guys as well, I don't ever like to go ahead and look down the road until I actually go ahead and prove that consistency. But we're very aware that these Montessori products, as we've been saying, as, as we all know here, okay, Montessori products are extremely hot. Okay. And when you develop consistency in a market like this, this is something that is very, very easy to go ahead and increase average order value overnight. Because you can imagine how moms are when they buy one of these books and they see another eight uh, on the site as well. And, and one of them is like one of their favorites kid, you know, brands or whatever, uh, or, 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 you know, books, whatever, something like that. The, the basically parents are very, very easily cross sold is what I'm getting at. Okay. And you know, what's great about this is the upsell take rates high in the baby marketplace. You're going to be getting crazy amount of cross sells. You're going to be getting moms gossip about how, how much they liked it to their other friends. You're going to be getting great referrals. Baby is a hot market. Baby, specifically Montessori baby, younger than just baby, but just like learning to move around is very, very hot. So Niles, very, very great research here, my friend. Okay. Every point that you had here was absolutely on point. And ladies and gents, if you can see how this product actually serves a purpose and has differences compared to all the other crap out there, give me sevens down below in the chat, guys. If you can see how this actually shares those differences than all the other crap like this out there. Okay. This does not, I don't want to see this shit. Okay. I want to see these types of products. Okay. Montes this is what we're not selling. Okay. Montessori is what we are. Okay. Tons of sevens. Love to see that guys. Very, very good. Okay. This is this. <laughs> then why did you buy a good point? I'll tell you what, I bought this from brick and mortar at home goods though. I'll tell you that not online on impulse. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, guys get, get the point there, right? Whenever you're looking at a product that's just general and very vague, think of this. Okay. Okay. We're not selling our sand glasses. We're selling true experiences and true specific items. Okay. Like this that actually serve a purpose in the bettering of an individual's life. 
This is a ton, literally everyone's dropping sevens. This is amazing, guys. Okay. And also, okay, one of the biggest things to realize as well, okay, is when you're dealing with moms, okay, having to do with their children, if they like your product, okay, expect to have her shop with you again. Okay, that's a big thing. Okay, expect to have her shop with you again. Okay, so think about that as well. Um, when you're doing products like this, you there's just, I would say there's a, a lot more market and niche opportunity that lies within this market than compared to like other markets, so to speak. And that's why this market is so incredible. It's because it's the most logical and emotional kind of powerful market possible because it's the love between a mother and a daughter, right? Or a mother and a son. <laughs>